Next one I got is going to be um, Ezra. And this was one that was a, a Monday Night Mystery movie at Regal. Uh, I was telling you earlier, I had no intention to see this. If it, if it popped on my radar, I probably wouldn't have went out of my way to go check this out. Unless I got really good advanced buzz. Um, but this is a family drama. And in this film, divorced stand-up comedian Max Bernal struggles to raise his autistic son Ezra. And forced to confront difficult decisions about the boy's future, Max and Ezra embark on a cross-country road trip that has a transcendent impact on both of their lives. This is directed by Tony um, Goldwyn. It stars Bobby Cannavale as our um, concerned dad. We get Robert De Niro. He's the grandpops in here. Uh, Tony Goldwyn, also the director, stars in this as... Um, um, our main guy's um, ex-wife's husband. <laughs> we also get Rose Byrne, who plays the the ex-wife. Uh, William Fitzgerald is in there as the kid Ezra. Uh, Vera Formiga pops up in here, as well as uh, Jeffrey Owens. And I had a really good time with this film, man. This is probably one of the best things that I saw um, this year so far. And um, what I thought was really great about it is it's equally poignant as it is funny, man. Because, um, you know, he's a stand-up comedian, so we do get a lot of him just being out and about in the world and doing his comedy comedy stuff um we get a few um club scenes too where he's doing some sets you know and um and the, the drama is really strong man like like the 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 um concerns that are going on like it's, it feels real it's really grounded you know um and really entertaining and i love the fact that we get so much um with ezra man um you know played by william fitzgerald in here and um you kind of get the um a real good sense of what you know um, you know an autistic parent as well as an autistic child has to deal with navigating this world and i know there are different spectrums of autism you know but um ezra he's very functional in here but he does have his quirks and things that you know that 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 bother him but for the most part he's he's able to you know go out and about in the world and express himself and um i guess the one of the concerns is you know they're trying to send him to a special school and um and max feels that like he wants his son to go to a normal school you know be with normal kids like he did and just learn to adjust but you know he's getting bullied a little bit and there's an incident that happened but it all culminates in, you know, a desperate measure. Max gets a call, the chance to be on Kimmel, which most comedians are looking for that shot, man. That's one of them things that can get you to the next level, get you in the film and stuff like that. Most professional comedians who've been in the game at, for any length of time end up on one of the late, late night shows. You know, it's always a good look. I mean, I remember, uh, shout out to, uh, um, Steve, uh, Mazen. And, and his, yeah, was, yeah. Yeah, well, what was the uh, documentary called? Dying, dying to, to Do uh, Kimball. I mean, no, dying, dying to Do Letterman. Dying to Do yeah. Letterman, yeah. And, and he tells a story about his, you know, um, struggle to try to, you know, get on um, Letterman. But, but yeah, but I think this thing is really cool, man. Also, I think Robert De Niro might get a supporting actor nomination in this thing. He's so good as a grand pops because in a way, he, he he's really, he's the D, he's... You could tell he wasn't the dad that he should have been, but on this end of life, he's trying to make up for it and advise his son in a way like, don't be like me, you know, and he's there, he's supportive. You see him interacting with Ezra. He's stepping in, um, you know, at uh, crucial times as this thing plays out, man. He's just so good, man. You're just so happy to see guys like him still around, man. Like, like, like he can't do the, you know, the crazy gangster stuff, um, you know, that, that we're used to, but but it's cool to see him still using his skill set in just to bring in this other character. Like, like I feel like guys like him are so good, you could put them anywhere and they're gonna kill it. You know what I'm saying? Like, like yeah. this is this is this is just cool, man. Seeing this stuff go down like this, man. But I highly recommend this, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, like you know, for, if it wasn't so good, I would say just go ahead and wait for streaming. But the way things have been coming out this summer, if you want to go to films weekly. This is probably going to be one that's going to fill that weekly gap for you because we're not getting them back to back like we did previous summers, man. It's just staggering. Things are kind of a little wonky right now. But but yeah, I highly recommend checking this out. Like like you might shed a tear too, man, but you're going to feel good too coming out of this thing, man, you know?